Hi, my name is Sia Bongotzingwa. I'll be working with you in some parts of mathematics. Today we're going to look at perpendicular lines. Suppose you know what perpendicular lines? Lines that will meet some angle. Let's look at this question here. So we've got a Cartesian plane and there's a line that's strong. And the line that's strong is y squared to 3. On a Cartesian plane, casting y, the x is at y equals 3. Now we've got to draw a line that is perpendicular to this line of ours, y squared to 3. The line that is perpendicular to this red line. So the red line goes like this. So you want to draw a line that is perpendicular. For the line to be perpendicular, means that they meet somewhere like that. So that is what you have to do. So let's draw that line. So if I were to draw a line, say, draw the line here like this. So the line that is red and the line that is green, they are perpendicular. They make an angle of 90 degrees there. They are perpendicular. Now they want us to give the equation of this line. If you look at that one there, it was line y is equal to 3, cutting the y-axis at only 3. So this line is cutting the x-axis somewhere here. So it could be 2 here. So my equation here will be x equals 2 because it only cuts the x-axis at 2. So minus x is equal to 2. Let's look at another example. Here they've drawn the red line going down. And the equation of this red line going down is uh, x is equal to 4. So they want us to, give, to draw a line that is perpendicular to this line draw a line perpendicular so the red line is going this way so the perpendicular line must go that way somewhere here okay let me say I draw my line over here all right so now I've got that line the green going like that so this red line the green line are perpendicular they meet an angle of 90 degrees so this line here only cuts the y-axis, it only cuts this line here. So the equation of this line here will only have y. So let's say it cuts at minus 5. Therefore, the equation of this green line is only cutting the y-axis. So the equation of the green line is x. I'm sorry, it's y is equal to y is equal because it only cuts the y-axis equals minus 5. Let's look at the now. It's a nice one. So they've drawn a line y squared 2 over 3x minus 4. It goes like that. It cuts both the y-axis and the x-axis. So the equation has got the y and then x. Unlike the previous ones, when the red line was cutting the y-axis, there was only y. The green line cutting the x-axis is only x, that's the equation. In this case here, it's cutting both the y and the x, so the equation have y and the x. So they say, you must draw a line which is perpendicular to this line. So the red line now is going this way, the line that would be perpendicular must go that way. Somewhere like that, can't go like that. So it must meet at 90 degrees. But they say the line that you must draw must cut the y-axis at 6. The y-axis at 6 is somewhere there. So we want to draw a line coming at 6 somewhere there. It must cut there. So it means that the line must go something like that. So there we go. So they make 90 degrees. Next question says, can we give the equation now of this red line, of this green line that you've drawn? So the equation of this green line now. Hmm. So it cuts y at 6. So how do you do that? The easiest way to do. Can you see the equation of the red line has got 2 over 3. So the other one, you swap those around, you change the sign in front. This is positive. So we change negative. So the equation of this line of ours will be y is equal to change the sign now to minus. Then swap those. It's 3 over 2x. But now it is cutting at 6. Then we say plus 6. Easy. Let's look at another question. We've got to state here whether the lines 
are perpendicular or not. All right? So I've got pairs of lines. This line here, y is equal to, is equal to 5. Think about it. If this was a Cartesian plane, there's x, that's y. So if we had the line y is equal to 5, it would go through like that. All right? So, so this one is x plus 3 is 9. This x only. Sort this. If I sort this, I get x is equal to 9. Take this across, it's minus 3. So x is equal to 6. If I were to draw this line, it will only cut the x axis at 6. It will go like this. So these two lines are perpendicular. So here, our answer will say they are perpendicular. All right. Next one. What about this one? Y is equal to 7 over 8x minus 3. The other one, Y is equal to 8 over 7x plus 3. That's 7 over 8. That one has changed. You see, these numbers have swapped. They've swapped around. Are they perpendicular? No. Because if they are perpendicular, one must be positive. The other one must be negative. This is positive. So they are not perpendicular. Let's look at another one. This one. Are these two lines perpendicular? Mm. So it means that here we have to rearrange this thing and make sure that the format is a standard form. How do we do that? So we must be left with only the y on the side. So in this case, I've got a 5y is equal to take this across minus 2x plus 15. Now divide by 5. So divide this by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5. So y is equal to minus 2 over 5x plus 3. So if this line is perpendicular to that, it means that this one is minus, got a gradient which is minus 2 over 5. So the gradient here should be positive 5 over 2 because it must change the sign and, and, and then these numbers must swap. So let's check here. So if I were to rewrite this, so I've got the minus 5x equals, take this across, it's minus 2y. Take this across, it's plus 14. So what do you get? Now I must divide by minus 5. Divide by minus 5. Divide by minus 5. Divide by minus 5. What do I get? I get here a post. Now, I was supposed to solve for y. So I've got 2y minus 5x minus 14 that was given. Right? So I must solve for y. So 2y is equal to a 5x plus 14. Now I must divide by 2. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. So y is equal to 5 over 2x plus 7. Now can you see that one there is minus 2 over 5 and that is 5 over 2. So the signs are not the same. These numbers have swapped around. Therefore the lines are perpendicular. So, to see if you've understood this, your work would be from Siavola textbook of grade 11, chapter 5. You'll do exercise 4.8, doing A to G.